We are anonymous. It has come to the attention of the anonymous activist community that you have chosen to stand by the Stop Online Piracy Act. This act will halt online businesses and restrict access to many sites for many users. Supporting SOPA is like trying to throw an entire company from off a bridge. Therefore, yet again, we have decided to destroy your network. We will dismantle your phantom from the internet. Prepare to be extinguished. Justice will be swift. And it will be for the people, whether some like it or not. You have been warned. To those doubting our powers. We've infiltrated the servers of Bank of America, the United States Department of Defense, the United Nations, and Lockheed Martin. In one day. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Supporters of SOPA. You should have expected us. Illegal downloading. From movies to MP3s, it's almost guaranteed that if you're on the internet, you have violated a copyright. But in 2011, the United States released the details to the Stop Online Piracy Act and the Protect IP Act, more commonly known as SOPA and PIPA. Why have they warranted so much attention? Because they could change how the internet functions to its very core. But a new bill proposes we give the power to censor the internet to the entertainment industry. It's called Protect IP, and here's how it works. Private corporations want the ability to shut down unauthorized sites where people download movies, TV shows, and music. Since most of these sites are outside U.S. jurisdiction, Protect IP uses a couple different tactics within American borders. Firstly, it gives the government the power to make U.S. Internet providers block access to infringing domain names. They can also sue U.S.-based search engines, directories, or even blogs and forums to have links to these sites removed. Secondly, Protect IP gives corporations and the government the ability to cut off funds to infringing websites by having U.S.-based advertisers and payment services cancel those accounts. In a nutshell, that's what Protect IP will try to do, but in all likelihood, It'll do something else altogether. For starters, it won't stop downloaders. You'll still be able to access a blocked site just by entering its IP address instead of its name. What Protect IP will do is cripple new startups because it also lets companies sue any site they feel isn't doing their filtering well enough. These lawsuits could easily bankrupt new search engines and social media sites. And Protect IP's wording is ambiguous enough that important social media sites could become targets. Lots of trailblazing websites could look like piracy havens to the wrong judge. Tumblr, SoundCloud, and early YouTube, wherever people express themselves, make art, broadcast news, or organize protests, there's plenty of TV footage, movie clips, and copyrighted music mixed in. But is the world aware of what SOPA and PIPA could do? We went into a Canadian high school in order to see if the students and faculty were aware of the acts and how it could impact their everyday lives. No, I am mildly informed. Like I, I know that it's pretty much pretty much what it is. If you're on YouTube and you have music playing in the background, pretty much. Uh, they can take that video down and like sue you. It's that bill that's um, like the, the that stops the piracy or something. So like they're going to be censoring the internet basically. And although they're like they say it's for the better, like it's for safety reasons, it's going to go out of hand. I know that. But if there, if something gets in right. then we won't be able to do stuff like this. We won't be able to have a. Uh, Free will and uh, <laughs> safe. especially over the internet, and that's the big one. No more YouTube, no more Twitter, no more Facebook. End of the world, basically. Never illegally downloaded anything. All day. Okay. Yep. Yep. Great, thanks. I'm a pirate. I, I've been on my pirate. Yeah. Yes, I have downloaded things. Yes. yes. Take a look at this face. Yes, okay. everybody has. not f completely 100% familiar with the bill that they're proposing, but I have heard about it because you're jogging my memory now. And yes, the big issue is that I understand the spirit behind the bill and that of, pri of piracy. 
don't steal other people's stuff and you know use it and spread it around. But yes, that is the point right now that is hugely controversial in that, for example, myself on the school website, I would be in huge trouble because, you know, just recently I got a link from a uh, colleague with a Toronto Star um, uh, article that pertained to students. That person probably would have got in huge trouble because they posted a link, um, basically just pirated somebody's article. And then I shared the link. So I think that's, that's a huge issue. I understand the spirit behind it, but from what you're telling me and from what I understand, um, I would have a huge problem with that. I think there's a lot of other things that people should probably be jailed or extradited for, um, other than just sending a link and sharing information. The problem with uh, the linking is that you cannot always know exactly where the original link came from. So to take it to the extremity of uh, extradition, and uh, actual criminal charges in a foreign country then becomes a huge international issue. The, unfortunately, more and more is going in that direction. It becomes very, very, very scary. Uh, it started with the whole Bush and the, um, the Patriot Act that has now moved into a whole variety of areas whereby the RCMP can uh, actually send people to the states and vice versa. Uh, <laughs> it's become a really scary, scary <laughs> dictatorship. Doing anything illegally, obviously, I feel is wrong and you shouldn't do it. Now, on the other hand, it, most things, there's another side to this coin. Um, using teaching material that's not that's copyrighted, that uh, that I have to download myself. Uh, I, I I feel especially strong about something like that because there's not a lot of money in public education to get your hands on resources like that, and sometimes a teacher has to go to extraordinary measures to get things that are helpful pedagogical tools in their classroom. They're stealing American jobs, internet criminals using illegal foreign websites. They traffic in phony medications, counterfeit goods, and unsafe products. Stolen movies, TV shows, and music. They're stealing American ideas and innovation, and hundreds of thousands of American jobs. But we can stop them. Tell Congress to stop online piracy. This is Mike Mozart of Jeepers Media on YouTube, and I've got a secret. It's a deep, dark secret. I'm telling you, you're going to be one of the first to find out. You know this SOPA law they're trying to pass, stop online piracy? Well, guess what? The same people that are trying to get the law passed and have put up like a hundred million dollars in lobbying costs to get this law passed so they can control the internet are the same people that distributed the file sharing software. That's right, they're the ones that actually profited from the distribution of the software and taught people how to use it and then turned around and sued people like you for billions of dollars. They did, I'm not kidding. Just look up Joel Tenenbaum, they've sued him for hundreds of thousands. And you think, oh, I'm not in the United States, I'm fine. No, they're passing this law so they can send in the troops to arrest you and shut down um, websites in your country too. Uh, no kidding. But if you're listening to those hearings, you know it's all about online piracy, like downloading movies and TV shows and stuff like that. But who do you think, but, but come here, but come here. Who do you think really caused all that piracy, huh? Was it all these kids? No. They needed the tools to do it. Who distributed those tools? Guess who? CBS Television? The Cena division of CBS had almost the exclusive distribution of things like LimeWire, Kazaa, Morpheus, BitTorrent, Azurius, Vuz. File sharing software is perfectly legal. However, under the MGM versus Grokster US Supreme Court ruling, they held that one who distributes a device you know, the file sharing software, with the object of promoting its use to infringe copyright, as shown by clear expression or other affirmative steps taken to foster infringement, is liable 
for the resulting acts of infringement by third parties. This is regardless of the device's non-infringing uses. In other words, you can distribute it, but you can't encourage anyone to use it to infringe copyright. And do you know what? CNET and CBS did just that thousands of times. Here's one of those ESPN Disney CNET co-branded pages. And what do we see here? One of the MP3 Insider file sharing Smackdown tests, something they commonly did uh, for quite a few years. Why did they use Britney Spears and Beatles and known artists? Disney, you put it on your ESPN site for the better part of a decade? Encouraging people to download and copy copyrighted materials? Why did you do it, Disney? Why? So when they go in to see these lawmakers like these senators and congressmen, they're gonna say, look at all the piracy. There's so much piracy going on. We know because we caused it all to happen ourselves so that we can control the internet. But what can you do? If you're in the U.S., you can call your Congress representative and get your voice heard. And if you're not, there's a multitude of online petitions and protests. After all, Congress is a game, and anyone who wants to get anything done in the government plays. Those who don't never accomplish anything. It's a game of reputation, relationships, backroom deals, and big money. And if you haven't engaged someone to advocate on your behalf, you're not even spectating from the bleachers. As far as Congress is concerned, you're sitting in your car listening to the game on the radio. And on the front lines, special interest groups help decide the batting order, while lobbyists line the bases, waving their pet legislation home. And how far will they let this go? As far as we'll let them.